that doesn't help this case at all. Okay, so basically, um, for those of you that are watching, I guess uh, somebody needs to put a link on YouTube or on Facebook. So we're live here. All right, it starts drama. It, it really does. Uh, uh, as much as I love that place and as much fun as I have, eat the mockery. The thing is, is it, it was built to not do that, but it's caused more than it ever right. has stopped. Waiting for it to load. There we go. So, uh, you throw the e-fed pure democracy and I'll put it on my. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, put it in. Quit being complicated. So, um, who is in the gauntlet? Uh, I have to go look. Was that like seven hours ago? Seriously, not even joking. Russo was built on the go in 2000 in WCW. Oh shit! You got you got your tights tonight? Okay, get out. In the room. He did. He really did. Honestly, I mean, like I just. It was all, like, I think that's what happened, like, most of the time, yeah. that people just showed up and, uh, and... The funniest so part was, like, me and Tech literally had this going joke that literally, like, no, no one in the back knew what was... The announcers are like, what, what's going on next? Like, because Mark Madden looks scared, like, every right. segment they talk. Mark Madden. Like, is someone going to come beat me up again? Actually, actually, here, is somebody going to come beat me up again? <laughs> so, Al <laughs> Snow... Barry Windham, Bobby Duncan Jr., Bull Buchanan, Consequences Creed, C.D.W. Anderson, David Flair, Devin Storm, D.Lo Brown, and Draws are all in the Gauntlet match. Oh, we, mm -hmm. you, you won me over with David Flair. You won yeah. me over. Well, yeah, he's a big one. So Chris Jericho uh, versus The Rock is our like, main event. Um, the mm -hmm. Rock is going to cut a promo about Jericho. The Rock gets deep beaten by, down by Apollo and Jericho. So, I don't know if you guys know who Apollo is, but I was a big, huge fan of his. Uh, no, Apollo, I did, I liked Apollo before TNA. Oh, no, you're, no, I, that's what I'm saying. That you're talking about the Apollo that was in TNA early years, though, right? I don't know if that's like, him. He's Hispanic? This guy right here. You see him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's talking who, about the Apollo. He was in yeah. TNA's, like, early years when they were, right. like, on, when they were still on Fox Sports. Okay. What screen are you on, by the way? Uh, I don't know what you're asking me. Because all I see is Chris Jericho. Okay, so... Um, let's see. Are you seeing the... Uh, selecting matches? No. Uh, so, okay, so... What I want to do is... Uh, because you guys can't see that apparently, which, you know, for, um, I can't. Uh, so, <clears throat> my, my storylines right now are the Bullet Club is here, which is Adam Cole, Matt and Nick Jackson, mm -hmm. and uh, the Rock versus Stone Cold is kind of losing ground because the Rock, the Rock has been fighting Apollo and Chris Jericho. Um, and Stone Cold's been gone. Um, the new click form storyline has lost ground because uh, Xbox is going through a lot of things and he's been fined several times for showing up drunk. Um, I would suspend him, but he's not on a written contract and I can't oh. send him to rehab either. So I have two options. I can keep finding him or I can fire him, which I really don't want to do because this new click forms thing is kind of cool. Um, but the new I click, mean, you could always have him written off. Like you, you could always find somebody to take that spot. But see, the new click is basically a smaller version of DX. It's Billy Gunn, Road Dog, and X Pac. Oh, okay. Then that wouldn't work. Exactly. So um, I'm thinking that. Um, so basically, I'm booking Raw. And my storylines are, uh, I'm trying to, like, uh, 
go with, uh, you know, my old school appeal. Um, so, uh, I'm not wanting to overbook, uh, tag team matches, but it seems like I got a bunch of tag team, uh, wrestlers. So, um, thinking about, so my, my titles are the money in the bank. Be, is being held right now by Val Venus. Um, the world champ is The Rock. The European champion is uh, Eddie Guerrero, who is on loan from WWE something. Uh, the hardcore champion right now is The Undertaker. He just beat Mankind for it, like, at the Royal Rumble. Tag team champions are Ed, Edge and Christian, and the when I started the game it was Edge and Christian. Then Lance Hoyt and Jinder Mahal won the tag team titles. Then Andy Douglas and Chase Stevens, the Naturals, won them and now uh, Edge and Christian have them again. The women's champion is Lita right now. She has defended it successfully like four times I think and mm -hmm. she beat Jacqueline for it. The World Heavyweight Champion right now is Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, not to be confused with the World Champion. Um, and the X Division Champion is Maddie. And so I've completely done away with the Light Heavyweight Championship. And I'm thinking that after uh, uh, Eddie Guerrero leaves, that I'm going to take the European Championship and go ahead and make the Intercontinental Championship what it was. Uh, so if you guys want to look at my, you see my roster? No, I'm stuck at Jericho versus The Rock. Yeah, like uh, that's the thing is, is for some reason it's all, it's not popping up all your extra windows. All right, so let's, uh, let's see, let's share the whole screen. See what are you using to record? What are you using to record all that? Oh, so you can explain it? Yes, because I, I don't know. Go with OBS. I have OBS. I don't know how to use it. I mean, I've I mean, seen a little video you for you, and I'm right here. I can get it in probably less than five minutes. I have it. I just right now I'm streaming on YouTube with X. So mm -hmm. we'll what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll just do this, and then we'll move on. Uh, that way tomorrow maybe we can set up for my first broadcast from OBS. Can you guys see my roster now? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so I'm thinking that I really want to do an Abyss versus Kane thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely yeah, that, I'll that's for that one. Sure. That's a good one. Because that's always like a big dream TNA versus WWE thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do we want that to be. It's raw it as well. Like hardcore, like a it, can't be, style. it can't be too hardcore. It has to be well, more brawl. You, you, you want like a brawl style? Maybe, maybe like a, yeah. a false count anywhere match, maybe? False count anywhere? Let's see. Or just no DQ regularly. False count. How, um, how old is both of them? And like, do you know their stats for brawling and hardcore and all that? Um, let's see. I figure uh, this is pretty decent no matter what. But uh, might be brawling the is C plus. Uh, hardcore is C plus. Um, toughness is an A. Resilience is a B. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Uh, let's look at King. So Kane's brawling is a 68. Uh, hardcore is a 62. Uh, hardcore is pretty good for uh, for Kane. What right. was Abyss's? Uh, Abyss was hardcore. Yes, yeah, so they could do hardcore or brawling. It's just a matter of what game he uh, can okay, do it for. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that like a, like a, a brawl or a hardcore um do you need to like do you need something to like space out the show after like a like well, a very 
Well, right right now, the what I have is you know the Rock One to demands office and he demands basically yeah. So the Rock walks out. He gets beaten down by Paul and Jericho. Then the moment happens. Then the Rock cuts a promo about Jericho, and then Chris Jericho versus the Rock. So right now I'm just I'm learning uh, the lifting of the crowd, working the crowd, storytelling and stuff like that. I didn't realize how important that was. It's so hard to get D's and E's and F's, and I'm like going, I wonder why the show sucks so bad. Come to find out, I wasn't uh, doing it to make my show look better. Yeah, they give you they give you lots of tips on the stuff, like especially with how your product tells you what what you want to have. Right. So for those of you who are in the chat room, um, I don't think anybody's in the chat room right now. Um, if you want to talk, um, feel free to talk, but. Uh, either Mullins or Vsel. I'm too busy staring at my screen. So uh, to answer, uh, I'm thinking where do we want to put this because we still have six more minutes to proceed, and I also get that uh, I want to make sure that I, one of the I wanted to book with you guys is I wanted to get a good feel of how. To you know, book a show on DEW because the way they've been booking hasn't been giving me really good grade. Well, first off, what's, what's your, your product? Product, yeah. My product is, you know, I mean, I think. No, I, no, it, it's on your thing. Like, what's your product on your thing? Okay, where do I find that? Um, Go to the sub, and then there will be a box that says product. Okay. Crash TV. Style name is. Um. That's not too bad. They really like risky stuff, though, which is a problem in the end. Uh, learn. Um. Scroll down it real quick. You have a high TNA, so... Yeah, you want to get some chicks out there. Yeah, you want to throw a lot. Well, they're, um, they're there. They they definitely... They definitely... Uh, we had uh, at the uh, Lita and somebody... Uh, Daphne had an uh, uh, evening gown there, so I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, well, then that's good. Like you, But like during a show like this, even, maybe you want to have uh, someone come... Someone talk and go, there's a... There's a what's it called an angle where, you, you know, where like the where like, like another lady comes out and strip another lady or pose like maybe I had that happen. Risky. I had I that. Say, you, I, want, you want I, risky stuff like that? Yeah, happen. I had that happen. Um, Daphne stripped Lita, and then that led to the evening gal match, which Lita of course won. Um, uh, Look at all like look at high risk uh, as it pertains to bangers and like non matches and stuff. Look at the high risk stuff. People will eat that, especially with your crash TV. So I guess I my I should put my hardcore at medium. Yeah, yeah and you want to run? Some, you have a hardcore tie, I believe. Yes. Yeah, then you definitely want to be defend that and whatnot. Uh, traditional, mainstream, and eh, medium, cult, heavy, um, realism, uh, low, uh, lucha libre, daredevil, medium. Now, should I put the lucha libre on there or not? Because I do have the Smash Wrestlers. Well, that's really up to you. I'm going to give it a nine. 
point I want to go is hire the dog. Realism. Okay, well done. The pure is higher than allowed. Well, the pure love is supposed to be very low or not. Okay, here we go. Alright, welcome back, sir. What did you do by the way, Owens? Um, I'm just going through and I'm basically just wondering, like what he's going to have a flood. Uh, with, Are you uh, talking about for Kane and Abyss? We're not doing mask versus mask. That's got to be no, no, I was going to say, you don't want to run first blood if it's mask and mask. Flaming, Flaming table. table. Seriously? Flaming table. Yeah. Well, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Do, um, here, go to filter and then put. What about a clock put, uh, house of fun? Uh, no, because this seems first, too crazy for them. But but it's their first match. It's oh, then give them like a, like a maybe it's like a new like DQ. A, give them a, like a like a street fight or something. Yeah, I'm thinking that we're gonna do a street fight here. Or a parking lot brawl, but I mean, street fight sounds better. So. Yeah, we're talking. So, let's see. Where the hell is Abyss? Are you kidding me? I hate this part. You go to book a match, and then the person's not there. Is Abyss injured? Um, I don't know. Here, go, go, uh, close everything real quick. And then go to your roster, and see what it says on Bush. Push. I ought to push everybody. Okay. Push, not signed yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's not there yet. He's not? Well, he said not signed yet. Oh, um, not did, outside. Did you, did you just hire him? If you just hired him, it takes about a week for him to come in. You know what you could do, though? Wait. Here, hit close. Hit add angle. Um. Uh, oh, you can't even use him for, like... Contract hasn't begun. Here, go to, go to the booking real quick. And then add a freestyle angle real quick. I want to see something. You might be able still to have Abyss, even though he won't be on screen. He can still be mentioned by Kane. Or you can, like, have a vignette. Hit freestyle angle. Um, set the first one to Kane. And then go to the second one, but click that little filter box off. Now, did you cook it off? All right, now hit a now type of best. Now I can't even use them there. Yeah, I guess because he's not even in the company, you can't even use them. Like, uh, up for like a vignette either. So that's the main problem. So you can't book him. You can't vignette him. So. so. Uh, All right, so. I might have uh, to scrap uh, Abyss off the show for now, till the next week. Okay, Mahe, Skandar, Akbar, Terry Gordy, Medusa, Rick Diner, C. Ray, Elite Skipper, Shane Holmes, Jerry Lynn, Kevin Steen, Scott Norton, Jack Swagger, Tommy Rich, Hibusa. I should. Uh, I don't know. No. 
What's a gimmick for this guy? Um. Can you not put demon? Yeah. Is Rocket Roller not on there? It's yeah, but it's, it's really stupid looking. What about Rocker? Is it like Rockstar? Rock and what's roller. his best um what's what his Rockstar? best like, like go skill? Down, go down past Rock Roller. Ah. It's a poor choice. It's too it difficult is. for him. See what his best skill is at, by the way. Filtering that we would fit him. Um, Exclude gimmicks that don't suit him. Weird. Unique. Weird would probably be unique or weird would be would be one, but then also hit the exclude button at the bottom, where it says exclude gimmicks that don't suit him. Band member. Yeah, there you go. All right. Select. Yeah. There we go. What? Uh. Okay, I'm not understanding why this is not changing. Anyways. He has to, uh, you have to do it on the show. Like, you said, Chan will actually debut it on the next show. He's gotcha. on. Gotcha. Alright, so, let's see who it is. Ooh. That'll also help bring some notoriety to that title. Exactly. Oh, by the way, both versions of the Patriot on here. Championship. Um, uh, and I guess this should be uh, a brawl or a car crash. Um. Ooh. Tom, what do you think on that one? Mm. I like the idea of a brawl. Who's it between, though? Uh, between? Taker and Kane. Uh, and it's, a brawl. Car it's, Crash is more if you need to, like, hide their abilities. So. Car Crash is more if you're just trying to, if they just go out there and just act right. like goes and... All right, so I New guess Jack's we'll do... Uh, yeah, uh, by the way, New Jack's on. I, I signed New Jack. Good, that means he's not going to try to kill you. Have you ever heard... Have you heard my stories? Um, yeah. And this, they're, they're, they sound terrifying. They are. They were very terrifying. <laughs> they were very terrifying. Hopefully you so, never have to run into him again. I'm honestly not scared of the guy anymore. And I will tell you that my wife told me one certain time for two damage. I'm like, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. If you want to things, it just doesn't die. Okay, Kane versus Andre for the Hardcore Championship. Eddie Guerrero is not going to be here much longer, so make it to where he gets to go back. So you don't, don't. You, you don't want to basically put yourself in a booking hole by p giving him something important just for him to leave. Uh, let's see here. There's Patriot and the Patriot. So, Toshika Kawada, Ultimo Dragon, uh, 
the Dynamite longer. Steve Carino. Ooh. Hiroshi Tanahashi. This is going to be a good match. Oh, boy. For the European title, dude. What are you thinking on length on this? They can get um, to 16 minutes. Well, I is it just a regular minutes. one v one? No, it's for the it's for Eddie. No, but it's not uh, like a ladder match or anything. It's just like a regular threat. And this uh, is the show, right? Just a regular show, not this a show. This is a raw. Uh, maybe 15 minutes. Uh, say anywhere from 13 to 15. All right, so let's go ahead and make it. And we'll put Eddie's title on the line. And should we work the crowd or lift the crowd on this one? And this is definitely, I was think this would be a high spots match. Well, it can only be one or the other. No, I'm saying which, which one should it be? Should we work the crowd? Right. Should it be high spots or a technical master class? High spots in my opinion. High spots, get the because that because that that cooks in a couple other things and that'll help you with getting the crowd going as well. And as then high spots, bro. And then do we have Eddie lose his title or do we keep it on him until he leaves? Um, keep it on him till like the last week, and then maybe have Balor be a or someone else be a you know a passing hand or whatever. He should be a fighting champ. So let's move that. Now, should the Rock and Chris Jericho be the main, or should be Hiroshi Tanahashi? I give her a dollar. Be the main. Uh, because the Rock is your figurehead, I'd go Rock at main. Yeah. So where should the the gauntlet be? Because I'm having a Kane and the Undertaker should definitely be. Well, what's the goal of the gauntlet? Is the gauntlet going to calm people down? <coughs> maybe you want to have that between two really good matches. The gauntlet is just regular. So maybe cool the crowd? Yeah, I was going to say maybe, maybe, maybe that can calm the crowd out. And you can put that between your two big matches, which I would say would be the triple threat in your main event. So, put okay. Make that your co-main event. So Kane versus The Undertaker will get the crowd hot, and then mm -hmm. the triple threat will get people hot, and then the gauntlet will calm people down, and then they'll get hot for uh, so another 30 minutes. Uh, I guess that we need to make the angle explaining how this triple threat is match, match is happening. Um, is there one that uh, for a triple threat? Anybody? Um, triple threat. What do you mean? Is there a like I want to have like a an angle? A hype where... video for it? No. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, then you would probably maybe want to just do a freestyle. Oh. But make sure they're not set to appear on screen. Just set them all off screen and freestyle it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how do, like, so they're all off screen? Yeah, just mm -hmm. put them all off screen on that. Because then it'll basically just be like the announcers hyping it up, like, hey. Okay, I gotcha. So. But you'd still want to have them rated on, like, overness and stuff like that. Okay. This is cool, learning how to do this. If, yeah, I really like the uh, freestyle, so makes life easy. That's what we'd use for half the angles anymore. Um, Storyline is success. Uh, 
Um, what about three or four minutes? Yeah, yeah, not too long. <coughs> cool. All right, so. So I guess King versus The Undertaker, we should go ahead and maybe do an angle regarding that as well. Mm hmm. Yep. So that should be a backstage brawl, or so that, that needs to have a mm -hmm. reason. Be down back. Whoever the heel, have the heel attack the face backstage. Just like a beat down. So Chain attacks the Undertaker. I'm just thinking this uh, of of this from like a the perspective of actually yeah exactly like how yeah, how's this definitely. gonna go um, so I need a tag match gotta have a tag match um, my tag team champions are E and C <coughs> I'm wondering if I should have like a, I'm gonna have a a triple threat like. Is there any way to do like two versus two versus two? Aha. Uh -huh. You mean a two v two v two? This one, right here. I think you're looking for what we, what our favorite. Two v two v two. Yeah, a two v two v two v two. Like Ooh. four. So two v two v two v two. Let's see if there is. It's a ladder match. Oh my gosh! This is going to be great. All right, let's hope everybody's there. All right, teams, Edge and Christian, definitely. Chronic. Chronic, chronic. Oh, chronic. man, I love it. Gotta do chronic. Oh, yeah, they gotta be in it. Gotta put them in there. Palumbo and O'Hare? Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, it's gotta be... Uh, these guys. Oh, Homicide and Hernandez. Shit. I forgot about <laughs> them. Oh my gosh. Two v two v two v two. Uh so we need like twenty some odd minutes to proceed. Um so I'm thinking that this is a good uh, 15 minutes here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, not not too crazy of a match, though. So. so do we put the titles on the line or not? No, not on a roll. I don't want to do that. So this is going to be, uh, this can't be um, high spots or anything like that. This has to be, oh my gosh, storytelling? Or steal the show? Um, steal the show. Well, honestly, I would have done the high spots match to steal a show, and these guys maybe be a wild brawl. I don't. I don't know. 
Because there's a lot of people in this match. And uh, okay, um, so should we throw in a girls match or I haven't used any of my local talents, they're getting paid to just sit back there. What local talents you got? You haven't had any women at all, and you really need them for the all right, the TNA levels, so. Uh, you could also just run a segment like a bikini contest <laughs> that's something that won't take up too much time Storytelling or work? Or epic? Who is it again? I wouldn't do an epic on a normal show. I wouldn't get that. Or a female that match anyway. Comp. It's, yeah, it's Daphne versus Jazz versus Ivory, Jacqueline, and Leah, and the title. But there's now. a lot of them also. Right. So, I think it might be just best to keep this regular. Or calm the crowd, honestly. Like, so. Alright. Yes. So. Oh, I gotta take some of this time down. Um... Cut about three minutes off of the, um. The... How? What? Who was in that gauntlet match? Al Snow, Barry Windham, Bobby Duncan Jr. It, the, the gauntlet match has to go 30 minutes. It won't let me go any shorter than that. Really? Yeah. Um, Alright, I guess I can't mess with that one. How about uh, closer real quick? Uh, go... Do, 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 do. Man, what can we cut time off of? Um, Go to that... Maybe the tag team match? This one right here? Yeah. Cut, uh, three minutes. Well, what's the... It. If it's set to Wild Brawl... Ooh, yeah, yeah. Shut it, set it down to, like, ten minutes. Because that's a Wild Brawl, too, though. So you don't really want it over ten minutes. So. Alright, All right, you should so be good. All what you do you, is check what do you, your analysis. What do you guys think as far as, like, looking at it? From your perspective. Um, let's see. And for those, it's of got you... a good, it's got a good pace to it. I don't know. The gauntlet match is what worries me, honestly. And maybe there should be like a a segment before the main event, like like a quick two minute segment, because there's a lot going on after the rock promo. Because we got we got a big uh, you know triple threat three way um, cruiserweight match right, and then after that we got a thirty minute gauntlet, and then after that we got the main event. So got a lot going on there. Uh, 
I see uh, there we go. It's not really that big of a deal, but Yeah. I'll uh, make it one two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, that would go good right before the main event, in my opinion. Alright. Oh, you're at eight you're at eighty percent matches. So you might honestly have to might have to cut down it's honestly that gauntlet match which is screwing you over in the the match to angle ratio. Okay, so what we can do is so we can Um, remove segments. Alright, so, 22 minutes. Uh, add match. Um, I wanted to do something like that. It's not only match, with like, a bunch of people in it. Maybe I'll have an elevation elevation X match. Hmm. Nope. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Spike Television. <laughs> the funny thing is, is like I'm not doing another ladder. Let me do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Who is the X Division champion? I keep forgetting. Oh, it's Matt Hardy. Let's see here. Um. So. Ted DiBiase is here for the night. The Amazing Rats here. And, uh, does Xbox wrestle or do I. It says it all the way at the bottom. No, I'm Xbox. saying, do I put Xbox in the match or do I pick somebody else? He'd be good for star power. But... Fuck. Yeah, because he's main eventing, so he has a good star power. You said Adam Cole, by the way. Did you mean to, or...? Yes. Oh, no, I didn't. It just does that to me a lot. They put Al Snow in an angle the other day. <laughs> Al Snow, what's he doing? He called out Undertaker. Oh, my gosh. What is going on here? <laughs> All right, so this might be war. X Division Championship. Mm. Oh, really? Come on. Thank you. Okay, so. Alright, so Matt Hardy versus Ted DiBiase versus The Amazing Red versus X Pac could be. Um, I'm at 77% matches, so I'm going to put it in another angle.
Hyper. Chris Saban and Alex Shelley. Because they haven't even made their debut yet. And three more minutes, so I know what I can do. What I always do. Giva comes out and shoots a oh, bikini contest. Exactly. Uh, uh -huh. Two or three. I think I have three. I have plenty of chicks. Yeah, and the more the merrier. <laughs> Support. Let's see. That's who's gonna who's gonna MC their your uh, The Godfather. Come on. Well, yeah, that's perfect. Oh nice. Uh let's see. What girls are gonna be in this? Barry Wyndham? No, I'm just playing. That was fun come on though. That would be hilarious. Chris Canyon, everybody. Oh stop. Daphne's going to be hey, in everyone. Let's see. Daphne. Draws. <laughs> I almost want to do it. Draws? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Ivory can just, like, refuse it, like, every time. And, uh, do we not want to play it? Uh, no, that means. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Uh, Tori. Tori? Tori? Okay. Nice one. Yeah. So, hold on, man. Daphne wants to. Uh, oh, Daphne? That, that'd be actually a good idea. By the way, I want you to know on your live stream they can't see your pop ups. Oh, they can't? Wonderful. Alright, so what do you think, gentlemen? Uh, we're going to go ahead. You need a good analysis. Uh, uh, those are all your, your feuds, but other than that, you're good. Okay, the pre-booking has not been added to the show. Did you pre-book stuff? For... I, 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 I'm trying to run some things like Eddie Guerrero versus Val Venus, Apollo and the Rock, um, which I already added to the show. Um, Apollo versus Rock was not added. Edge and Christian and Naturals argue, and see, uh, I'm the the Naturals and uh, Edge and Christian are supposed to be having a thing too. All right, so um, so how many people are watching on the live stream? I'm here. He said on the live stream, they can't see it. All right, let's go ahead and run this show. Okay, before we run the show, what do you think? What do you think my rating is going to be on this one? Let's go for a 78 or 82. Yeah. In that range. All right. Go high 70s. All right. Let's see what happens. Yes, I want to start the show. Yes, I got to see. Awesome. It's not my time. I'm not going to get me on me. A D plus. Apollo did not come out of this looking good. Wonderful. A freestyle angle with Eddie Guerrero. It got a D minus. Oh well. Can the Undertaker can the taxi Undertaker backstage and leaves him down and out. 
Kane and Paul Bear have pretty good chemistry. This angle got the crowd hotter, and they got to see. So, in about the ad, fantastic heat and great wrestling, The Undertaker defeated Kane in 858 by pinfall with a tombstone. The Undertaker makes the best number one of his WWF Hardcore Championship title. Uh, looks like it. I got a C minus on that one. They wanted Ooh. more dangerous spots there. Hmm. That didn't turn out as good as we had hoped. Homicide's not good with that gangster gimmick. Homicide versus New Jack. I'm sorry, it's just funny to be looking at this thing and it got D plus. Come on, Godfather. At least Daphne came out of it looking good. But um let's see what you did there. Shown to promote motor city machine guns and he got D. Awesome. E plus Ivory defeated Jazz, Daphne, Jacqueline, and Lita when Ivory defeated Jacqueline with like pinball with poison ivory. E plus Yikes. Oh well. Oh my gosh, D minus, this is terrible. X Pac wins the WWF X Division title. Wow. I hope he didn't show up drunk. He would have told you before. The Rock cuts a promo, hyping up his upcoming match with Chris Jericho. He's got C plus, which is bad for The Rock because he always gets B's. Oh my gosh, a D minus? Are you kidding me? Eddie Guerrero makes defense number three of his WWF European Championship. Tanahashi needs a new gimmick. Um, not sure. Well, well, you just debuted it. That's the only thing. Is just, I don't know if you can change it that quick, but yeah, it was a poor rating. Angle featuring Shane McMahon and James Mitchell. Got a D. I didn't expect that to go over anyway. D+. Plus. Your referee was terrible, but it says... They wanted oh. more dangerous spots. Uh, oh well. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, that's not good. I'm never booking with you guys again. <laughs> that was a joke. So, um, I, I, I got a feeling that I'm doing something wrong. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the booking and all that, but apparently I'm doing How many of those guys did you just debut by chance? Uh, Tanahashi was, that was his first show. Um, I guess it has a lot to do with that. Well, that's the referee too. It said though, right? I'll bring my my thing back up here in a minute. So he's watching on live stream. Mm. He's, he's watching on the live stream. Um, I'm watching. Check you out. That's about it. That's all that matters. We're live. Live. And living color. So. Yep. So I guess that about does it for this episode of Booking with Us. 
Um, Cause I don't want to call it the Coach Jim Foster anymore. Foster's family. Yeah, you are my kid. You're Deli Owen's kid. What's Mullins on? Uh, the next door neighbor. He's not even a cousin. He's just the next door neighbor. <laughs> he's just the next door neighbor. Right. I'm, that, I'm that neighbor on home improvement. Heidi Ho, neighbor. <laughs> Heidi Ho, I hear you're booking today. <laughs> no, it's more like uh, it's more book. like Heidi Ho, neighbor. I'm booking when I come over. He's like the Pat Patterson to our Vince McMahon. He just comes over to our pool house to book Raw. The thing no, he is, he's like, the pool. and the thing Absolutely. is, is like, and, and, and he's heterosexual, which makes him not Pat Patterson. <laughs> oh, I went honest. there. I went there. <laughs> I'll like to you there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the live stream. Thanks for anybody who tuned in, whether it be live or in retrospect we'll have more of these guys on because they're cool say good night Mullins night night say good night VTech nighty night okay y'all y'all should go watch some old movies of George Burns because he would say to his wife Gracie say good night Gracie and she'd look right at the camera and go good night Gracie <laughs> Say good night, Mullins. Good night, Mullins. Say good night, Zach. Good night, Zach. Later, y'all. <laughs>